Hey, Amethyst Mahoney with the 30 Day Video Challenge, and today I want to tell you how to revamp your About You page, um, or as some people call it, the About Me page. So I'm going to put the link uh, to mine in below this video so you can see my new About Me page, and it is very personal. And obviously, if you can't tell, I'm like sighing and uh, I just put this out here and I don't know what people are going to think and um, it's pretty scary but I know that it helps people connect to me on a better level. So the problem with most about pages, about me pages is that people just want to talk about their degrees or their certificates or who they trained with and nobody gives a shit, okay? <laughs> like your people for the most part just they don't care. Um, so I barely even mentioned that I have two master's degrees and a PhD anymore. I did throw that in my the about me page just because I know that some people um, will say, you know, oh that that was really cool and I really perked up when I heard that. But for the most part, you want to evoke an emotional response and tell people why they should um, they should listen to you. Sorry, I'm trying. My hands are shaking and I'm trying to stable stabilize the camera a little bit because. This is a really scary thing for me. <laughs> um, this is probably like one of the more vulnerable things um, that I put out there. So when you're doing your About Me page, you want to think about the key elements that are really, really important for your clients to connect with you. So there are a lot of things that I left out on my About Me page. And um, that's the thing is you want to put in it's just like when you're introducing people, you know, don't try to just like do the word vomit where it's like, blah, this is everything about me, blah, you know, you need to be selective about what you tell people. So there's lots of things on the about me page, um, mine that you won't find that uh, a lot of people really connect to those stories. And so I actually promote those in different ways. So um, on my about me page, it talks a lot about how my stepfather used to beat me up all the time. And, well, it doesn't talk about it a lot, but, you know, it mentions it. And um, and he did. He beat me up, like, every single day for 12 or 13 years until I could get out. But I didn't put in the part about he also tried to molest me. And the reason I didn't put that into my About Me page is because I'm actually writing a book. I'm gathering some people together who have um, been, you know, molested, abused, raped, those kinds of things. And we're actually going to release a book next year on that particular topic. So at that point I might put it back into the About Me page, but right now it's um, it's just it's just a thing and um, I'm gonna promote it, promote a book on that in a different way. So, you know, I just put in some stuff. I didn't talk at all about how I was in the army. I actually got injured and I was in a wheelchair for two years, almost two years. So that's not on my about me page. Um, but a lot of people are really interested in hearing about that because they don't know that I'm a disabled veteran. I tend to attract people with disabilities. And part of the reason is because first of all, I worked with people with disabilities for ever, you know, when I was a psychologist, and then also I'm, I'm disabled myself, but it's just not a focus of my life. So I didn't put that on there because also I feel like it would take away from the point of the main story. And what I really want you to get out of that page is that no matter what tragedies and hardships you've been through, um, my belief is that you can create a positive life and, you know, I've rebranded to Limitless Abundance because that's it. That's everything to me. No matter what hellish, crappy, ridiculously grotesque environment you may have been born into or have gone through in your life, the world really is limitly abundant. And and I just didn't like limitly. So I put limitless abundance <laughs> because I really think that that's everyone's birthright. And um, and getting through all of those stories and all of those hardships will just take you to where you're supposed to be. Um, and then I also put my legacy on there. I really want to donate, um, you know, $10 million in Kiva loans. And secretly, I'd like to give another million to Girls Inc., where I also volunteer for foster kids. So, this is a really long video, and you're probably not even still watching, but I'm going to finish it anyway. Um, that is my story. And so I want you to look at your story and what 
do you need to say that your clients need to hear? Be very selective about making sure that you really put yourself out there and you don't have to tell them everything because if you do that it's going to be way too long anyway like this video <laughs> so that's your challenge for the day um, thanks for participating in the 30 day video challenge and I look forward to seeing your revamped about me pages if you have one up right now you can do like a before and after too that's always fun so I will see you in the challenge bye